Welcome to all football fans across the world. Hope you guys are doing good. You are watching daily news and transfer updates. So let's dive straight into it. Everton owner Farhad Mashri is in talks to sell the Premier League club for around £400 million to American real estate investor Masiat Kaminsky, with progress reported to have been made in recent days. Plans for All-Star games are set to be revived with the potential for a Premier League eleven taking on similar teams from Germany, Spain and other top leagues either in the winter break or during blank summers. Glastonbury event promoters Arcadia will provide a 15,000 capacity festival venue in Qatar for football fans to watch games and drink in, but tickets could cost up to £50 per day just to get in, with pint prices from £8. Donny van de Beek was mentally crushed by being consistently overlooked for Paul Pogba in the Manchester United midfield, despite the Frenchman's bad attitude. Emerson Royal has spent almost £800,000 of his own money on goods and services designed to help him adapt to Antonio Conte's demands on his wing backs. David De Gea is planning showdown talks with Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag over his future at the club. De Gea's deal expires next summer and United are yet to make a call on whether to trigger a 12-month extension as they toy with a move for Atletico Madrid's Jan Oblak. Dominic Calvert-Lewin's return to the Everton first team has been further delayed, with a setback meaning he is at least another week from making his comeback. Dusan Vlahovic has no plans for a swift departure from Juventus in January, a year after signing from Fiorentina, after fresh reports emerged of interest from Premier League leaders Arsenal. Frenkie de Jong's future at Barcelona could be affected by the club's pursuit of Wolves midfielder Ruben Neves, who is ironically also a target for de Jong's suitors Manchester United. Cristiano Ronaldo is set to start Manchester United's derby clash with rival City because of a striker shortage at Old Trafford. Harry Kane is being forced to wait on a new boot deal with Nike as the company is prioritizing trying to re-sign Erling Haaland, whose previous contract has expired and has seen him wear a mixture of footwear this season. British Medical Association Board of Science Chair Professor David Strain has criticized Tottenham and Liverpool after they announced commercial deals with Coca-Cola on Thursday. Emile Smith-Rowe has undergone groin surgery and will not play again until December at the earliest, Arsenal have announced. Man UTD returned to action in the Manchester Derby on Sunday against fierce rivals Manchester City but will be without key players Rashford, Marshall and Van de Bin due to injuries. Folks, club football has returned after international break. Here are some of the important fixtures. Let us know, by commenting which match you're going to watch and your prediction for the same. Take care and have a nice one.